Okay, what we need to make a surgical stent is a, our diagnostic wax up, some alginate, tray with some adhesive, a one millimeter Essex retainer blank, some slurry water, a metal handle number 11 scalpel, a pen, some polishing burrs, and a flame. So first things first, we'll pop the model into the slurry water so the alginate impression doesn't stick to the stone. So once the stone has soaked for five minutes, we'll take an alginate impression of our model. Gently remove the stone model from the alginate impression. And now we're ready to pour that in type 3 dental stone. Okay, so once we've poured up the, the duplicate alginate, um, so we have a duplicate model of our wax up, we want to mark a few areas um, on the model. Um, so in this case, we're placing an implant in tooth 1 4. So we want to mark the gingival margin first. Then we also want to mark where the, we would expect or want the access um, screw access hole, which is going to be just slightly lingual to the centre of the tooth. If you can see that. And then we want to mark a line about a millimetre or two buckle to that. Okay. Then we want to mark lines where we want the rest of the, the tooth support of the, of the stent is going to go. So we want to have it sort of, I guess, half tooth all the way around. We want to do this so that if we are, do have a large flap that we're not, our stent is not going to be in the way of that. And when we come onto the tooth that we're doing, we're actually going to follow up to that line, just buckle of the access hole. Approximately there. Okay. And now we're ready to make the pull down. Okay, so once we have our um, vacuum form pull down made, one millimetre, we want to just get um, get rid of the excess. We do this by heating a number 11 scalpel. With a flame. remove the excess. Okay, and we can get rid of that. So now we've removed the excess, we can trim the stent down to the black line that we've made. Um, on the model. I'll just take some time here. And the reason we're using a scalpel is that we can be nice and accurate, especially when it comes to the round the tooth that we're um, making a stent for. So once you've finished trimming, which is something that looks along the line to this, which just needs polished. To polish, I just use a couple of lab polishing burrs, um, although uh, 
a, a, a Christmas tree or a bullet um, acrylic barrel also um, work. okay so folks so what we should finish up with is something that looks like this so if we pop it back on the original wax up model it should look something like this where we're mid tooth um, on all of the teeth and then with regards to the tooth that we are replacing with the implant we mark the gingival margin and also um, the buccal wall and therefore when we're using our directional indicators um, we have a reference point of where the buccal of the tooth is to ensure that the scree access channel will be in the correct position. Okey doke.